British commentator said earlier this week, it's hard to think of an example in the last 30 years of history where Western countries decided not to intervene in a case where atrocities were going on and where in retrospect that looked like a good decision. On the other hand, it's hard to think of an example where we did intervene where the outcome was, was pleasant or desirable. You could point maybe to Sierra Leone and, and, and Serbia and Kosovo at the end of the 1990s as examples where interventions produced totally positive outcomes, but certainly we wouldn't be seeing, we'd be seeing that now. It was, the, it was the better of two evils that we could have chosen. Now at this point, what can be done? Something has to be done to stabilize things. At this point, the most important thing is ensuring that the civilians of Aleppo and, and of, of Syria in, in general have a chance to get out, that we acknowledge that their flight is not going to be a temporary thing. Uh, it may not be permanent, but it's going to be very long term. And that the best thing we can do is allow the, the Syrian population to reconstitute itself to have safety until we can do something, until we can decide if, if there's a military option that works. We certainly do need to support Kurdish forces uh, still in the Northeast. Canada's role in backing them is very important and we need to start talking about, about, about them as being uh, a, a separate and distinct battle from the overall Syrian civil war. The best we can do as citizens in Canada is help some Syrians. Help some Syrians who've, who've been able to flee, acknowledge that it may, be a, it may be many years, it may be a decade that they are refugees. They need to do what they can for them and especially for their children to become part of Canadian society. We're, we're lucky in that we have a sponsorship system, so there is something that Canadians can do. Most refugees in Canada are sponsored by Canadian families, so you can go out and help. Certainly in this holiday season, it's worth looking out to see what you can do to help the Syrians who are coming here and do things. I just put together a Christmas stocking for, uh, for a family from Aleppo that I'm, that I'm co-sponsoring and so on. Acts of generosity and kindness, acts of support and help will help people get through this.